Best greetings from Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine. My name is Viktor Fursov, and today, fourth day of March 2019, and today is a spring outside, pretty cold. Insects are coming very soon, but our laboratory culture is prosperous and just with a lot of insects. And actually, this is laboratory culture of interesting insects, bean beetle. If you are interested in this, how to avoid this bean beetle in your kitchen, follow to this video. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to my ch channel. Well, you can see here two petri dishes. I put them inside to show you in a close distance these funny bean beetles. So you can recognize bean beetles. They are developing in beans in your kitchen or outside in your garden. And by the way, on the right side they are sitting all together, males and females. And on the left side these are beans infested with bean beetle on the right side, so very wide, so without beetles, and left side with a lot of holes, so they emerge from these holes. And actually you see that they do like to come to the light, so they just light is coming from the la left side, so if I turn them, they will slowly and all very quickly run into the light, because they are photo positively phototropic. Yes, yeah, so they are coming, they are coming to the light and actually if you put together infested or and uninfested beans, so females will will be very happy to lay eggs on these beans. Actually, bean beetles, they are coming to your kitchen from outside. They are not always living inside your kitchen. They are always coming inside because you can buy beans somewhere in a shop, in a supermarket or just in a market. So bring it to your house, to your kitchen and they emerge very quickly. So they fly very well. So you can recognize on the right side. They are flying very well. They are jumping and moving very quickly. So we can quickly infest your new beans like here. Like here, you see, I put here, this is a new part of beans for infestation to continue laboratory culture. Here all these beans infested and with holes, old one here in the middle, they're just becoming swollen. So some of beetles sitting inside, they're making, they're cutting with mandibles this tiny holes were emerged coming from outside, sometimes they come inside to be hidden, to hide inside. So and all you can recognize all these beans not eatable, not eatable. So it's even unhealthy. So and actually these seeds if they will be infested, these seeds definitely will not be good for growing. They're dead, by the way. These are dead because they are swollen and nothing with endospermos inside. If you put them in the soil, they will not grow. And this one still alive without larvae inside, but they will be infested and will be not good for growing as well in your farm or in your garden, by the way. So that's why I try to avoid all your seeds from these beans. And how to do it? And actually two measures, two measures if you collect it. Beans in your garden, in your orchard, something like your collection. So try to put them not all together and not in a sealed packages immediately. Because first of all, somewhere in September, some bean beetles will emerge, they are hatching and they are flying. So you see, they will fly to the light, in the direction to the light. So if you put somewhere in a dark place your beans, your seeds, so all, major, at least majority of your bean beetles will hatch and fly to the light. So and after that, of course, you need to close all your seeds and put in a safe place. If they're not for growing for the next season, put them to freezer under a temperature minus 5 or minus 10. So all these beetles will die. They will not survive a temperature minus 5 degree or centigree or Fahrenheit. So they will die under the minus temperature. And of course, 
if you are buying something in a market, try to check it. What did you buy? Try to don't put them in with beetles, so you can see on the right side with swollen abdomen. This is a female. So and you can see how we running very fast to the light. Yes, so if you collected your not beetles but your seeds, put them in a sealed after that package. Keep in a cold temperature. It is much better because beetles they like to develop in a warm temperature and lay eggs. You can recognize here these white spots they laid immediately eggs. I put them yesterday here but where with these white spots, tiny white spots, these are eggs of beetles because we need to find the food for development of their larvae. From these tiny seeds larvae hatching and larva will develop inside beans and will damage beans so and after that they will not be growing and becoming not eatable because of extremes of beetles and destroyed seed totally. So white pot this is also egg of beetles. So this is a short story about beetles. I hope it was interesting for you. So try to avoid them in your kitchen, in your garden. Or at least keep your seeds in a safe place. And good luck in growing beans, peas and different seeds in your garden and keep them in a safe place. So you will not have so many these funny bean beetles. Good luck and see you soon on my channel. This was Viktor Fursov, entomology beekeeping teacher. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye bye. See you soon on my channel. Looking forward to see you as a subscriber and you will see more interesting funny stories about insects, beetles, butterflies, cicadas and other animals as well. Bye bye, see you soon on my channel.